What's going on everyone? Dalton Hopkins with Frontstretch.com. I am flanked to my left by Trenton Worsham and then to my right by our very own Steven Stump. We just got done with the Sports Clips, was the Sports Clips VFW 200 here. Did I get that right? That is correct. I got it right. Wow, I can't believe it. So yeah, the Sports Clips VFW 200 here at Darlington Raceway with the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It was a pretty interesting race, maybe not as wild as we've seen in the past, but still quite a few things to talk about. Steven, let's talk to you first, let's talk about some of the things that we've got going on. So, what, what, you notice some interesting stuff, you're the stat guy, right? You notice some interesting stuff about this race. Yes, uh, this is Hamlin's first Xfinity win since 2017, and it's also kind of funny that like the two races he's been DQ'd, which was an Xfinity Darlington race in 2019, and the Pocono Cup race last year, he's won both those this year, and past inspection. Also interesting is that um, every single car finished the race. Kyle Larson, 31 laps down after a mechanical failure, he was the only one to kind of go to the garage and then return. But otherwise, despite a couple of spins, it was a clean race, and it was the first ever Darlington race in any of the top three series to have every single car running at the end. And then there's going to be a more interesting playoff battle between the cut line, but the regular season title is still on the line as well. And after second and third place finishes, um, Austin Hill enters that with a 23-point lead over John Hunter Nemechek and Justin Allgaier. So that will be something to watch at Kansas next weekend. And then that all came about through a very interesting last few, uh, last few laps there between Sam Mayer and Parker Kligerman. You talked to Parker Kligerman afterward. I talked to Sam Mayer. First off, let's talk about what did PK have to say at that hauler? Well, during a lot of his interview, he was smiling when he was asked about that. He said that I may be smiling, but I'm I'm pretty livid on the on the inside. Obviously, he wasn't happy with Sam Mayer. I believe he also gave him kind of a not so celebratory shove going down uh, pit lane, and unfortunately, he entered the day 20 points above Herbs for the the last playoff spot. But after the spin, uh, he's enters one point below. So it's uh, there's no margin for error for them next week. And obviously, he said that you know despite how frustrating. Today was they'll just move on and get ready for the best they can be for Kansas next weekend. Yeah, and PK was smiling, but he was livid. I talked to Sam Mayer afterwards, and he was just nothing but apologetic, very upset uh, with how that turned out, and called Parker his friend. Doesn't want to end that relationship between he and PK. It can be interesting to see how that plays out. They said they would talk to each other. It'll be interesting to see uh, what they think next weekend. But then, of course, we had some other storylines go on this weekend. Trenton, you wanted to talk about something on Pitt Road. Is that correct? Yeah. So Austin Hill's pit crew was just lights out. Number one pit box does matter a lot, but the fact they were able to get him to lead almost every single time out of there was impressive. And one thing he did say after the race, I spoke to him post-race uh, on pit road, and he said that it, it was him on the restarts that was having the issue. So even though his crew was doing really well, he had a lot of wheel spin on the restarts and just couldn't rally it, rally to get that going right and stuff. And eventually, as we know, uh, overtime happened, Denny Hamlin won. Austin Hill is having a great year, a career season here, and he's coming back next year. So he's got a lot to look forward to, but he's a, I think he's a clear favorite right now. But, yeah, just just needed to clear up the, re, the restarts on that. But other than that, his pit crew was just lights out and helping him do that. And Riley Hurst spoke to him too. You know, he had a great finish and stuff. And I tried to ask about the 48 a little bit. He just wanted to more so focus on his own race. Didn't really have much to comment about that either because they had a few run-ins on the track as well. So Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Uh, Austin Hill. Probably one of the fastest cars today, but on pit road, of course. But uh, I don't think anybody could probably be. JHN had it in the beginning. I don't think anybody could doubt that. But in the end, it was Denny Hamlin who was lights out on the rest of the field. And who else, right? The, the Cup Series veteran uh, going for a championship again this year uh, in the Cup Series as well. Well, speaking of the Cup Series, you can tune in for tomorrow's race, the Cookout. Southern 500 here at Darlington Raceway. I'm Don Hopkins, Stephen Stum, Trent Worsham signing off for today. But we'll be back tomorrow where you can follow Front Stretch's coverage here at the Lady in Black. This is Brayton Laster. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out one of the awesome videos right beside me. And go to frontstretch.com for more awesome racing related content.